Hello brethren, today's motivation is about the strength to persevere us in these end times. As the world around us grows increasingly dark and tumultuous, it can be easy to lose hope and feel overwhelmed by the challenges we face. The signs of the end times are all around us. War, famine, pestilence, natural disasters, moral decay, and the relentless assault on truth and righteousness. It can seem at times like the forces of evil are closing in, threatening to snuff out the light of faith, hope, and godliness that sustains us. But take heart, dear brothers and sisters. Though the road ahead may be difficult, we have been given everything we need to weather this storm and emerge victorious. We have been endowed with an inner strength, a discernment of the spirits, and an unshakable resolve that will enable us to not only survive, but to thrive in these last days. The strength that we require does not come from our own power or abilities. It is a strength that is granted to us by the Almighty, forged in the fires of adversity and tempered by our unwavering trust in Him. It is a strength that transcends the physical and the temporal, rooted instead in the eternal truths of God's Word and the unshakable promises of His love. In the book of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul exhorts us to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Ephesians 6.10 This is not a call to self-reliance or stoic determination, but rather a command to draw upon the limitless resources of our Heavenly Father. It is an invitation to clothe ourselves in the full armor of God, wielding the sword of the Spirit and standing firm against the schemes of the devil. For the trials that lie ahead will require more than mere human fortitude. They will demand a supernatural strength, a strength that can only be found in an intimate relationship with the one true God. It is a strength that is forged in the crucible of suffering, tempered by the refining fire of affliction, and honed to a razor's edge through unwavering faith and obedience. Consider the example of the prophet Daniel, who faced down the lion's den with unwavering resolve, trusting that his God would deliver him. Or the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who stood firm in their faith even as they were threatened with being cast into the fiery furnace. In the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, they clung to the truth that their God was greater than any earthly power, and that His strength would carry them through. And so it must be for us as well, my friends. For the days ahead will demand a strength that transcends our own limited abilities. We will need to draw upon the very power of the Almighty, clothing ourselves in His righteousness and walking in the full authority of His Spirit. This is no easy task, to be sure. The enemy will not relinquish his hold on this world without a fight, and he will employ every trick and deception at his disposal to try to undermine our faith and sap our strength. He will tempt us with the allures of the flesh, bombard us with doubts and fears, and seek to divide us from one another and from our God. But take heart, for we have been given the means to withstand these assaults. Through the gift of discernment, we can penetrate the veil of deception and recognize the true nature of the spiritual battle we are engaged in. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can be equipped with the wisdom, courage, and perseverance to stand firm in the face of adversity. For the discernment that we require is not a mere intellectual exercise, but a supernatural gift that allows us to see the world through the lens of spiritual truth. It is a divinely imparted ability to distinguish between truth and falsehood, good and evil, the promptings of the spirit and the wiles of the enemy. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul speaks of this gift of discernment, describing it as one of the many manifestations of the Holy Spirit. He writes, To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the ability to distinguish between spirits. 1 Corinthians 12, 8-10 This gift of discernment is an essential tool for navigating the treacherous spiritual landscape of the last days. It will enable us to see through the smoke and mirrors of the enemy's deceptions, to recognize the subtle workings of demonic forces, and to steer clear of the seductive lures of the world, the flesh, and the devil. And as we exercise this gift of discernment, we will find that it is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a deeply spiritual one. For true discernment comes not from our own understanding, but from the illumination of the Holy Spirit. It is a gift that is inextricably linked to our intimacy with God, our submission to His will, and our openness to the leading of His Spirit. Indeed, 
the ability to discern the true nature of the spiritual realities that surround us, is a critical component of the strength that we will need to endure the last days. For without this supernatural insight, we will be vulnerable to the deceptions of the enemy and ill-equipped to navigate the treacherous landscape that lies ahead. But with the gift of discernment, we can stand firm in the truth, immune to the lies and manipulations of the forces of darkness. We can walk with confidence, knowing that our God has given us the tools we need to overcome the onslaught of evil that will intensify as the end draws near. And as we cling to this truth, we will find that our strength is renewed day by day. For the promise of God's word is that, they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. This is the unshakable truth that will sustain us in the days to come. For the strength that we require is not of this world, but is a supernatural strength that comes from the very throne of God. It is a strength that is forged in the fires of adversity, tempered by the refining work of the Holy Spirit, and empowered by the unwavering love and faithfulness of our Heavenly Father. And as we draw upon this divine strength, we will find that our ability to endure and persevere will only grow stronger. For the Spirit of God that dwells within us is a spirit of power, love, and self-control. 2 Timothy 1.7 A spirit that will empower us to stand firm in the face of any storm, no matter how fierce. This is the spirit of discernment and the spirit of endurance that we must cultivate within ourselves, my friends. For the days ahead will demand that we be firmly grounded in the truth, able to see through the deceptions of the enemy and to cling to the unshakable promises of God. It will require a level of spiritual fortitude that can only come from an intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father, a deep and abiding trust in His sovereignty and an unwavering commitment to the path of righteousness. It will demand that we be willing to sacrifice our own comfort and security for the sake of the kingdom, to stand firm in our faith even in the face of persecution and adversity. But take heart, for we have been given everything we need to rise to this challenge. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we have been equipped with the discernment to recognize the true nature of the spiritual battle we are engaged in. And through the strength that comes from our unwavering faith in God, we have been empowered to stand firm and endure to the end. So let us embrace this calling, my brothers and sisters. Let us gird up our loins, put on the full armor of God, and march forward with unwavering resolve. For the strength and discernment that we need to navigate these last days has already been freely given to us. All we must do is reach out and claim it. And as we do, let us draw strength from the example of those who have gone before us. Let us take inspiration from the stories of faith and courage that fill the pages of Scripture and let us be strengthened by the knowledge that we are not alone in this battle. For we are part of a great cloud of witnesses, a mighty army of believers who have faced down the forces of darkness and emerged victorious through the power of God. We are the inheritors of a legacy of faith that stretches back to the very beginning of time, and we have the privilege of carrying that torch forward into a world that desperately needs the light of truth and the hope of the gospel. So let us rise up, my friends, and let our light shine before all the world. Let us be bold in our proclamation of the truth, uncompromising in our commitment to righteousness, and relentless in our pursuit of the kingdom of God. For the strength and discernment that we have been given is not for ourselves alone, but for the sake of a lost and hurting world that so desperately needs to hear the message of salvation. It is a calling that transcends our own individual lives and binds us together as a community of believers, united in the common purpose of advancing the kingdom of God and standing firm against the encroaching darkness. And as we embrace this calling, let us never forget the promise that awaits us at the end of this journey. For the God who has called us to this task is the same God who has promised to wipe away every tear from our eyes, to vanquish the powers of death and evil, and to usher in a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness and justice will reign forever. This is the hope that sustains us, my friends even in the midst of the darkest and most difficult of circumstances. It is the knowledge that our labor in the Lord is not in vain, and that the reward that awaits us is greater than anything we can imagine. So let us press on then, with unwavering faith and unshakable resolve. Let us be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit, guided by the gift of discernment, and inspired by the promise of the coming kingdom. For the last days may be dark, but the light of God's love and grace will never be extinguished. And as we stand firm in our faith, 
we will see that light break through the darkness, illuminating the path ahead and leading us to the ultimate victory that awaits us in Christ. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, I come before you in this hour of great need. As the darkness gathers and the forces of evil seem to encroach upon every corner of the world, I find myself in desperate need of the wisdom, strength, and discernment that can only come from your sovereign hand. Lord, I confess that on my own, I am woefully ill-equipped to navigate the treacherous landscape of these last days. My human understanding is limited, my willpower is fragile, and my senses are easily deceived by the clever manipulations of the enemy. Without your spirit, divine guidance and empowerment, I am vulnerable and defenseless against the schemes of the evil one. But I take heart, dear Father, in the knowledge that you have not left me to fend for myself. In your infinite wisdom and compassion, you have provided me with the very tools I need to stand firm in the face of adversity and to emerge victorious in this spiritual battle. You have clothed me in the full armor, equipping me with the sword of the Spirit, the shield of faith, and the helmet of salvation. And through the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit, you have granted me the gift of discernment, enabling me to penetrate the veil of deception and to recognize the true nature of the spiritual realities that surround me. So I come to you now, O Lord, with a heart that is humble and contrite, seeking the impartation of these precious gifts. I long to be filled to overflowing with the wisdom that comes from above, a wisdom that is pure, peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. I desire the strength that can only be found in an unwavering trust in your sovereign plan and an unshakable confidence in your unending love and faithfulness. And I pray for the gift of discernment, that I might be able to see clearly through the smoke and mirrors of the enemy's deceptions, and to walk boldly in the light of your truth. Equip me, I pray, with all that I need to stand firm in these perilous times. Fortify my heart and mind with an unshakable faith that will enable me to withstand the fiercest of storms. Grant me the wisdom to navigate the treacherous spiritual landscape that lies ahead, discerning the true nature of the forces that seek to destroy me, and walking in the power of your spirit to overcome them. Even now, O Lord, the signs of the end times are increasingly clear. I see the rise of false prophets and teachers, peddling lies and seducing the hearts of the naive, the erosion of moral values, the devaluing of human life, and the open hostility towards all that is good and righteous. But I cling to the promise of your word, which assures me that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I take heart in the knowledge that you have not abandoned me, but have sent your Son to be the light of the world, and have empowered me through the gift of your Holy Spirit to be an ambassador and a witness. So grant me, I pray, the wisdom to discern the signs of the times, the strength to stand firm in the face of the adversity that is to come, and the utterance of truth to bring the gospel to many that they may be saved. Equip me with a spirit of discernment that will enable me to see through the deceptions of the enemy and to walk in the truth of your word. Infuse me with a courage and a resolve that will not be shaken, even in the midst of the fiercest storms. And fill me with the unwavering hope that comes from the knowledge that you are sovereign, that your plans cannot be thwarted, and that your ultimate victory is assured. I know, dear Father, that the road ahead will not be an easy one, but you have not tested any man beyond what they can bear. The forces of darkness will not relinquish their grip on this world without a fight, and they will employ every weapon in their arsenal to try to undermine my faith and sap my strength. They will tempt me with the allures of the flesh, bombard me with doubts and fears, and seek to divide me from others and from you. But I take heart in the promise of your word, which assures me that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I know that the power that dwells within me, the power of the Holy Spirit, is mightier than any force that the enemy can bring to bear. And so I cling to this truth, standing firm in the confidence that you will grant me the strength and the discernment to overcome every obstacle that stands in my way. Lord, I ask that you would pour out your Spirit upon me in a fresh and powerful way. Ignite within me a burning passion for your truth and a fierce determination to defend it against all who would seek to corrupt or distort it. Fill me with a holy boldness that will empower me to proclaim the gospel with unwavering conviction, even in the face of persecution and adversity. Equip me, dear Father, with the spiritual weapons I need to wage this battle. Grant me the sword of the Spirit, that I might cut through the lies of the enemy with the sharp edge of your word, 
strengthen my grip on the shield of faith, that I might deflect the fiery darts of doubt and temptation, and place upon my head the helmet of salvation, that my mind might be protected from the deceptions of the evil one. And as I stand firm in this armor, Lord, I pray that you would also grant me the gift of discernment. Open my eyes to the unseen realities of the spiritual realm, that I might be able to recognize the vantage points you have given me in this time. Embolden me, dear Father, to confront the darkness head on, wielding the truth of your word like a mighty sword. Grant me the courage to speak truth to power, to stand firm in the face of persecution, and to proclaim the gospel with boldness and conviction. And fill me with an unwavering trust in your sovereign plan, that I might never lose hope or be tempted to compromise in the face of adversity. For I know, dear Lord, that the ultimate victory has already been won. Through the sacrifice of your Son and our Lord, Jesus Christ, the powers of sin and death have been defeated, and the promise of eternal life has been secured for all who believe. And so I cling to this truth, even as the darkness around me seems to grow ever deeper. I know, dear Father, that the days ahead will be filled with great trials and tribulations. But I also know that you have not abandoned me, and that your love and faithfulness will never fail. So I come to you now, with a heart that is humble and contrite, seeking the wisdom, strength, and discernment that can only come from your hand. Fill me, O Lord, with the power of your Holy Spirit. Ignite within me a burning passion for your truth, and a fierce determination to defend it against all who would seek to corrupt or distort it. Grant me the wisdom to discern the true nature of the spiritual battle I am engaged in, and the strength to stand firm in the face of any adversity. And as I walk this road, dear Father, keep my eyes fixed firmly upon the ultimate prize, the promise of your eternal kingdom, where righteousness and justice will reign supreme, and where every tear will be wiped away. Give me the courage to persevere, even in the darkest of times, knowing that my labor in the Lord is not in vain, and that the reward that awaits me is greater than anything I can imagine. I ask all of this in the mighty name of Jesus, my Savior and Lord. May your name be glorified, and may your kingdom come, in these last days and forevermore. Amen. Amen.